Hello everyone, Florian here, also known as GCA Goddess on TikTok and Instagram. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to build a working bridge in The Sims 4. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click post notifications to never miss out. Start out with two pillars and then another two pillars across from each other. That way you can have the pool or the fountain in the middle. Then you're going to want to add a room in the middle of these so you can move the train along with it. Make sure you're not hitting the platform button like the first time I did it. From here you can start adjusting it from, to whatever height you would like it to be. If you want a tiny bridge, if you want a really really tall bridge in the water, you can do that. And then start with deleting all the walls that we made in that room. In a couple steps, we will be adding the water in between the pillars, but first we're going to add another room on top of it, which will be working as the bridge platform and where we can walk. You can adjust the height even more if you like, if you want it more in the ground or if you want a taller bridge, and you can do that here. By putting it up more, that would make a taller bridge. By putting it down, that would make a lot shorter bridge. And start placing your pool in whatever shape you'd like, which will end up being the shape of the river. After you're done with the pool, you're going to want to add the stairs and your railing to your bridge. If you have the Get Famous expansion pack, you can go into decorations and statues and there should be the Your Eyes balcony pillar, which I think makes a great accent to your bridge. And you're going to want to make sure you have your teeth on so you can get the debug items and I use the debug items to create the rocks and some of the decorations for the plants. So add your rocks around the pillar to make it look a little less rigid. I mean, you don't have to, obviously, you can keep it as the ground, but I think it makes it a little bit more realistic. Don't forget to paint your pillars so that they match with your railing and the floor and the stairs, of course. To make 
make it more look like a pond instead of a pool, I added the grass as the floor in the pool. And then for the walls, I looked for a green wallpaper. And I think that just helped so much to make it more realistic and not like, oh, there's a giant pool in the, above a bridge, you know? And here's where you take some creative liberties and add some rocks and flowers wherever you would typically like and some trees. And voila, you've got your own working Sims bridge. Thank you girls, guys, gays, and names for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. I will have my socials linked down below. Depending on when you watch this, have a good morning, afternoon, and